The Batman Who Laughs number 4 was published few days ago in this six issues run and continued with the horror of the Batman Who Laughs. The only enemy Batman may not be able to defeat without help. We saw how the Joker infected Batman with his blood to make him able to understand how the Batman Who Laughs thinks. Batman then enlisted James Gordon Jr. in his war on the Batman Who Laughs, who brought with him the Grim Knight, an alternate reality killer Batman who uses weapons to kill his enemies without any sense of regret or remorse. Batman then forged a visor similar to that of the Batman Who Laughs, turning him into another laughing Batman. The book opens in the Batcave with Alfred confronting Batman about his new methods of dealing with the problem. But it seems that it's too late, as Bruce has become infected with the Joker's blood. Bruce says that the Batman who laughs can see all the things people fear. His visor is made of dark metal, which enables him to filter out the dark energy and see what he wants to see. And Bruce made this new visor from the same dark metal. This was escalated into a fight with Alfred, where Bruce becomes torn between reality and hallucinations, between the voice of the reasonable Bruce who loves Alfred and can't hurt him, and the voice of the criminal Joker who wants to kill Alfred. Bruce finally managed to control himself and put on the visor to see things the way the Batman who laughs does. He doesn't only see people as they look like. This dark metal allows him to see people's greatest fears, concerns, and evil desires. He receives a call from Alfred informing him that the Grim Knight is using the city's electrical grid to direct more energy of the dark metal. And although Batman has already stripped most of it out, there is still enough to open portals to bring more Bruce Waynes into this reality. James Gordon informs Batman that he will soon find the waterway the Batman who laughs is going to use to infect Gotham, and asks Batman that if he defeated the Batman who laughs and the Grim Knight, can he still stop what's happening to him? Batman recalls how the Joker became his greatest ally in this war, and that he promised that he would kill Batman if he turned into another Batman who laughs. Batman then goes to the Blackgate prison where the non-insane criminals are captured. There is a portal to the dark multiverse from which the villains can bring other Bruce Waynes into this reality. But it can also teleport Batman to other dimensions. Suddenly he was confronted by Officer David Harper, who thought it was the Batman who laughs. But Batman revealed that he is not the villain and that he is looking for someone. But he was teleported into another reality where the prison looks way more massive. Batman then confronts the Bruce Wayne of this reality who looks older and works as the prison's warden. They were teleported back into Batman's reality where officer David Harper who was seemingly infected with the Joker's venom slaughtered the Bruce Wayne who was brought from that portal. Then he gave his orders to open fire on Batman. Commissioner Gordon who was kidnapped by the Grim Knight and was held captive beneath Gotham was released, but attacked and seemingly killed by Dark Robins. For more details, check out the annotation about the Grim Knight. I like this run, but I wish the artwork was better overall. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.